राइट नाउ यू सीइंग विद सोशल मीडिया यू पुट अ रियली नाइस पॉजिटिव मैसेज दे दी सर वायरल नहीं हुआ अभी आप कुछ नेगेटिव डालो तो देखो कैसे वायरल होते हैं तो आई थिंक दैट्स द थिंग बट देन इट आल्सो मेड मी फील दैट आई रियली नीड टू कंप्लीटली कमिट टू इट और आई शुडंट बी डूइंग दिस सीरियस सिचुएशंस एंड बीइंग वायलेंट एंड गेटिंग इनटू मेजर मेजर फाइट हियर यू गॉट दिस ब्रेथ ऑफ फ्रेश एयर हु जस्ट वॉक्स इन एंड इज जस्ट लाइक हेलो एवरीबॉडी हाउ आर यू from mumbai to bombay we are going on a time travel with this with this team so welcome to indian express uh, the trailer has dropped how are you guys feeling so yes and tell me ritesh i want to ask you guys are mentioning it's fiction is it a way to just avoid some controversy or is it really fiction no no it is i mean i don't know what controversy can be there <laughs> right on the uh, it is completely fiction because if you see it like i said you know it is um, that's why it's it's husain saab story right yeah. and the fact is that obviously with the amount of work he's done as a journalist in that era right um you're you're talking about his influence being from there brought into this particular story right so obviously there is a very very strong um, uh, i don't know whether you is i don't know whether it's um, an influence or inspired but it's from that time so you're taking a little bit of everything which happened and making it into a story with a thread which is completely new okay. so whatever the thread you'll yeah. find of it you will find it but that's what makes it believable right why do you identify it because it seems real Now that's the magic you have to do, which is which they've done in the writing room, right? It makes you feel like that, which is great, and that's why it'll relate and identify to a larger extent. So yeah, of course there are going to be, but I said the the beauty of it, you're talking about the birth of a free nation, hmm. and in that backdrop, what it meant also to the birth of the underworld, yeah. right? And you're talking references of what existed at that point, you know, and weaving that into our own storyline. So there is nothing to stay away. If there is nothing, you please watch the series and call me up and tell me if you feel there's even one percent of anything being controversial. I'm Definitely. happy to do another interview. <laughs> I mean, actually, of course, Sujat spoke on the stage how you had to wait eight months to get the part. Uh-huh. Of course, we all talk about actors getting signed and replaced, but this waiting period is not spoken about. Tell me, how does that feel? It must be a different kind of an anguish altogether. Uh, honestly, you. You've been doing it for so long that you go test for it, and then uh, if you don't hear back, you keep carrying on with what whatever you have. I don't think I. I, I mean, it's. I don't think about a rekhu call nii aaya. Wo sab time to khatam ho gaya. Uh, I just feel ki agar main us layak hunga to that work will come to me, and thankfully this did come back to me uh, because I really had like strange faith. Uh, the first day I went to test for it. a casting director anmol ahuja casting bay uh, they were casting for it and i told him ki ye wala mera hai uh, i just had that faith but then again 8 months happened and no no response from that end but i would still feel ki kuch ho raha hai wahan pe have they locked it or not so uh, they haven't locked it and then eventually i think october november i think end of october i got a call uh, 2019 from shrija to come and meet him and we had a brief interaction where he shared his vision about the story and uh, obviously it made me very nervous and and but then it also made me feel that i really need to completely commit to it or i shouldn't be doing this and uh, i took the plunge uh, i was just sharing first november 2019 i cut my mustache and and i decided to put on weight i don't know why those are the visuals that i got at that point of time and i said aisa kuch karte hain Uh, and that time it was about 4 to 6 months scared yeah. which now uh, lasted for 4 years because uh, covid happened a set got broken all of that so having come through all those challenges and obstacles uh, today sitting here with you in front of you and talking about bombay meri jaan it's a a very very yeah. beautiful feeling very honest mara you tell me when you get something like this because it is about these men uh, when you take your script like what is your kind of priorities that you want you are looking in your script see my main my main objective is to stand out if i don't stand out in the role i play whether it's a 5 minute role a 10 minute role for me it's not about the screen time it's about the writing it's about the kind of you know positivity and personality i can bring to my character and i think with bombay meri jaan pari the character itself she's very 
she's very similar to the kind of person I am. Okay. So to play someone like her was was just a lot of fun for me. Where you've got all these boys in these like serious situations and being violent yeah. and getting into major major fights. Here you've got this breath of fresh air who just walks in and is just like, "Hello, everybody. How are you?" <laughs> so I really like that about yeah. Pari. I like that she brings in that little bit of like a break yeah. between. these worlds and yeah i'm just really looking forward to seeing everybody else's reaction to the show yeah. because we're really proud of it uh, also mara tell me is it a struggle for you somewhere to stop being stereotyped as the heroine's lady love because of course that is the kind of roles that sometimes maybe just coming to you you know um ultimately it's very easy to get stereotyped but i think with the kind of work i've done if yeah. you've seen it's it's been very different and people are like oh you've kind of like done your own thing um which was never really the objective but i always had one thing in mind that i never want to be furniture in any project and that's something that i've always stuck with and i always will so you'll never see me being just the pretty face next to the hero in yeah. something there'll always be a reason for that character to be there and that's how i choose my roles and will keep yeah. choosing my roles yeah. Renzel, of course, you've done a lot of uh, projects on crime and drama. Tell me, is it a thin line to actually kind of balance the good and the bad, and also make the hero who may not be the nice person to make him the hero of the project? Like, how's that process for you? Yeah, so I was just telling someone that, that uh, in a gangster show, uh, most of the characters are going to be great. Right? Yeah, you're never going to have. Like, it's not like a normal show where you, you know, like. a normal drama or rom com so within that you got to choose who your protagonist is okay and start layering these characters that's the only way you can do it so the least gray person okay is really your hero <laughs> and you got because in a world of gray yeah, and black absolutely. that's all right and secondly what you need to do really is you need to i uh, not i not that you need to preach but you need to start layering with these with the morality of these characters you know mm. because you at no point want to start glamorizing it yeah this uh, you know there's delineation between good and evil you have to show that bad deeds have bad consequences uh so if someone if you live by the gun you die by the gun yeah so these things have to be seeded in because if there's anyone who is deemed impressionable at least they get the message of it mm. within the construct of a genre absolutely And tell me about your experience of creating a period drama because it's it's not just looking through a sepia no, it's lens. Not. It's much more than that. Uh, tell me about that and also about your shooting and kind of production because there are metros and high rise buildings. How how challenging was that experience? Yeah, you know, like uh, the first thing I did and this is after meeting Ritesh and Kasim and I re- I walked out of that meeting and I that initial meeting I remember thinking this is a very ambitious yeah. show. you know and it's a period so the period is very hard thing to do you can do it and mostly we fall flat on our faces mm-hmm. i think in period because we try to achieve period yeah uh, rather than you know forget and put it at the back of your mind and then go on with life but bombay was a very different city in 90 uh, post independence it was a city of mill workers and the thugs or the gundas out there were people who would go to a mill worker at the end of the month and you know if he couldn't pay him the money with whatever interest they'd break his legs or whatever you know or the other kind of crime that was really on the uh, in the city that was evictions so when not leaving their houses you send four thugs heavy guys they'll go throw someone out and that was the extent of crime mm-hmm. but as we started doing our research we found as the city started sprawling out the underworld the underbelly started getting more and more complicated mm. and there were these fiefdoms that started you know coming up and then the turf wars and then organized crime started getting organized yeah. that whole you know that symbiotic thing of gangs either taking over another guy or joining hands so that research i think informed the whole piece and today you have i mean the name of the show bombay meri jaan that's come from that when we started shooting we realized nothing remains i remember sujath and i saying let's go to baikla and you know just go uh, and figure out how much remains of old bombay ba- baikla to kolaba yeah and nothing remains really Yeah. Shot at Sobo. We shot in London, Sobo. Very beautiful area. Yeah, and I, no, and uh, I think uh, kudos to Ritesh and uh, Aparna that they gave us this kind of budget to actually <laughs> make this city yeah. because it's not a joke, you know. Like Absolutely. the first time uh, Shuja said when we are doing it, I was like we are really doing this. I mean, it, because you could actually walk through this. Like if you, like how our sets made, you know, it's just the front. Hmm. But yeah, you could climb up the steps and walk down the corridor wow. and get into a room, and you know, so it's an organic space that yeah. you can place the camera anywhere. 
built to the production detail of uh, Bombay or Mumbai yeah. that you don't see anymore. That which is which is like insane, you know, uh, money to put into a show unless. I think that shows the kind of belief they had uh, when you're talking period, you know. Please yeah. tell me because you saw such a big success with Mirzapur uh, and that kind of started the trend of crime stories. And now that you reflect on it, what actually worked? Uh, why are crime stories still like just a favorite genre for everyone? I mean, you know, I just it's my favorite genre for sure. Right? I mean, I like that, but I think people like that. It's kind of escapist in a certain way. It's uh, I don't. I'm not going to say it's inspiring, but it lets you forget about what your daily life routine. You know, everyone has. They want to go out and just have a great. That's why I feel those genres work the best. Right? Whether it's theatrical, whether it's streaming, any format. I think people enjoy that. More, more. That's why even like you see, like you see Peaky Blinders, you see any of the big shows. They're all. Like based on that crime gangster, I think, and the audience for that is equal. It's not only the men who are loving it, the women. Like if you have an actor here who wants to, she's already started writing what she wants yeah, to do. How she wants to die. Yeah, how she wants to die. And if you hear it, you'll get a shock. I but, like watching violence. I don't know what it is, but it's also because I don't. Of course, I don't see that in my real day yeah. life. And like Ritesh sir just said, it transports you into a different world. And for me, any good piece of film or yeah. a show. If it can distract you, if it can just keep you glued, to me that is a winner, hands down. Also, I think people like the right now. If you're seeing with social media and you put a really nice positive message, they'll no be so viral. Nahi hua. <laughs> Abhi aap kuch negative dalo to dekho kaise viral hota hai. So I think that's the thing. Yeah. Anything Something which is to provoke. yeah, it's just that people like that and it works. Yeah. yeah. yeah.